All right, welcome everyone. Here we are looking at Skate Park Mark's computer as he is creating the Tyler Gleason skateboard, also known as Ty Bud. So I went to college with Ty Bud and at Montana State University, we were both Bobcats. Ty Bud is originally from California, so my idea originally was to use some California uh, objects here. And so I just started off with a search for Cal, and we've got this Cal Golden Bear going on. Uh, and you can see that I'm bringing this into um, Illustrator, Photoshop, working with this stuff. I got a B right now. And uh, this board went through a lot of work. Um, and so I'm looking like trying to grab this little honey, this little honey thing here for, I guess our, we got a honey bear. He's making off with a little bit of honey. I thought that was cute. And what exactly we're doing with the bee, I'm not exactly sure here. Uh, you know, sometimes I just go with whatever, you know, I'm thinking at the moment. And uh, there's that Cal Golden Bear once again. And the problem here is that since Ty Bud and I are Bobcats, <laughs> and I maybe I didn't think about this one all the way through, but uh, it turns out, you know, having a bear to a Bobcat fan uh He's a little bit more into bobcats, less into bears because of the grizzlies. So this, um, the bear avenue here ended up not being the best avenue. Uh, but here you can see me once again. I'm in Photoshop, you know, trying to grab these buckets. It's a little honey bucket. Uh, working through this little bucket with some uh, of our clone stamping tool there. Uh, then I vectorized it and... Now our bear is making off with a little bit of honey. And uh, we've got some bees chasing him. There I am adding a little uh, rope onto our honey bucket. And it's just cute. I like our bear. Uh, I don't know about these bees so much. Uh, all right, here's another bee. We got bee options couple different B options here. All right. And here's uh, just some background. Here's me trying to put the word tie bud into a beautiful landscape, make it kind of look like these are the Hollywood billboard signs, I think. And uh, here's tie bud in. This is actually very difficult to do and make it look realistic. And you can just sort of see me. I'm now I'm trying to erase these bottom shadows here because they're not floating. And there we got Ty Bud on the landscape. Actually, that looks kind of cool. And kind of staggering those letters, making it look a little bit more realistic. But ultimately, it's just not even realistic. So I'm going to have to go back maybe and try to learn how learn how to do that because I want to be able to do that in the future so and uh, here ran a trace on that picture reduce the amount of colors it just didn't look realistic uh, and so here's our bear running in front of the tie bud sign with his honey his honey pot and I'm going with a white on white background here with the tie bud lettering. And uh, hey, what's a bee without some flowers or, or pollinators? Native pollinators. All right. And here's the bear from the California flag. And uh, and he's gold. I like the I was using those California flag colors on this one. And this is actually I thought this was a really strong bear with the tie bud. 
Um, the color scheme was just, it was matchy. It matched California. Uh, and that's just a really good looking board. But once again, we're building a board for a Bobcat, so probably not going to work. All right. Continuing to tweak and modify our bear and our Thai bud Hollywood sign lettering. Looking for something to hit and ultimately not finding it here with this particular avenue. And I'm just, it looks like I'm just grinding it out here. I'm just I'm still working on this bear, still working on this honey pot, trying to make him look clean. Reducing the amount of colors. I always redu reduce the amount of colors. You know, if you can get a design that only has like three colors in it or four, that's kind of my goal because that looks sharp. So here's me adding some detail in Illustrator for our honey bear and our honey pot. And he's apparently making off with the honey. He's a He's a little thief, this bear. But when we were talking about honey, all right, smooth corners. Our trace of our bear was a little bit rough. Here I am trying to clean that up. And I'm continuing to work. Work and work and work. I'm in Photoshop now. I'm going in between Photoshop and Illustrator. Drawing pieces. Trying to make it realistic looking. Our rope is coming out of the side of the bucket here, obviously. So that looks weird. Still working. Still working with that. I've got the stroke of a elliptical object here and that's looking a little bit more realistic looking a little bit more realistic yeah because you know we care we we want it to look we don't want it to look fake and because that'll just stand out we want our eye to see it and uh to believe it Seeing is believing. Here I am working. Keep on working this bear. You know, now that I'm getting reminded about this bear, I might have to go back and use this bear because we ended up not using the bear. But heck, looks like I was doing a pretty good job of trying to make this bear nice. So we might have to use this bear somewhere else. We'll see. Watch out for that California golden bear making off with a honey pot. He's cute. I like his smile, too. And the colors are good. That brown and blue, those are probably complementary colors. Close to complementary, at least. I always try to keep those colors complementary. Oh, and there I got rid of the C just to kind of hide it. All right. So now here I am. Going on a different Bobcat avenue here, and we're looking at Bobcats. And I found a cartoon here. I'm remembering this. And this was a nightmare. The This just ended up looking like crap, and I couldn't make this Bobcat work for the life of me. Um, mm, by options on the Internet of Bobcats, there's limited... I'm not a cartoonist per se yet. Um, I would like to work on my cartoons. I did some cartoon drawing the other day and uh, look for look for some some cartoons coming out of Skate Park Mark's kitchen here in the coming days. So we got a fence. We got a little cute bobcat who's under the fence. And what is he doing under the fence? Well, he's up to no good. 
He's trying to get into the hen house, per se. So this is me obviously struggling to make this look right. And going back and forth between Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator. Photoshop's easy to clip stuff out, so I, that's basically what I'll do with with Photoshop is is I'll get these vector illustrations and Illustrator, and then I'll bring them into Photoshop, clip them. You know, make it look like our cat's sticking his head through a fence. And then I'll bring that back into Illustrator when I have it looking like I want. And then I'll do a, another trace on it. Bring it back into the vector realm. So here's our cat. He's got his head through a fence. And uh, here I am covering up some... Uh, Watermarks. Yeah, you know, because we're just hijacking all this stuff. People put watermarks. They're not going to stop Skate Park Mark. Watermarks don't stop Skate Park Mark. That should be my new theme. No watermark was ever good enough. So draw, doing a little more outline uh, drawing there. And, uh, of course, getting our colors right. And he's a farm, he's a farm nuisance, this cat. So I had to go get a little farm, adding more information, more details, more objects, you know, making it more interesting. You know, ultimately it's like, wait a second, why are we going to have this cat looking like he's in prison? I mean, this is... Not doing the cat a just you know justice, There's no service for the cat. But here's the point to kind of bring it home: is he's after the chicken. So we got some chicken in there. All right, so here I am, just straight looking at the Bobcat options at the MSU Bobcat website. Or did a Google search for MSU Bobcats. More Bobcats. More Bobcats. More Bobcats. You know, because I knew in the back of my mind that 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 little guy in there, that fence wasn't any good. This ended up being kind of fun, though. This guy... Uh, and I don't know if anybody knows this, but Skate Park Mark was actually the Bobcat mascot back in 2000. And I was, his name is Champ. And Champ's outfit, costume, used to look different than this one. He was way more friendly. But the thing about that Champ costume was he was smelly. And having been, I don't know how many other guys before me were in that suit, it was just nasty. If I wasn't in that suit, I was washing that suit or febrezing it, trying to make it all right. Because my ultimate, you know, what I do is sort of just sneak up behind unassuming women and then just kind of put my champ arm around them. And they're offended at first, but then they're like, oh, champ. Anyway, when you're coming in to do that move, it's not good to be smelly. So I was always trying to make him not smelly. It was a losing battle, and ultimately the Bobcats football team lost every game that year. They got a new head coach. His name was Mike Kramer. And I, as a departing senior, I went in to and met Kramer's incoming f staff and asked Kramer if he would buy a new mascot. They're not cheap. And so this mascot is the next generation of champ that was sort of put in motion by myself in an attempt to 
you know, help people not have to suffer through the smelly costume that I did. And here's Champ. And Ty Bud is a pilot. So I thought that, you know, this might ring home. Uh, put this Champ in a airplane flying with a little gradient there. And he's in the clouds. And uh, he's looking good. And here's a little Tyler Gleason insignia there on the back, the TG on the plane. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Better. Let's just say we're getting we're getting there. As I continue to tweak, continue to make it hit with some glow. Some outer glows, gradients. That <laughs> just is, looks good. All right, I need some mountains. You know, put a little mountains in the background. And so here's our bobcat flying in front of the mountains, mountains and mines, Montana State University. And I also, once again, notice, you know, although that bobcat is infinitely colored, the rest of that design is only about three colors, and they look good. I like that. More barnyard animals. Oh, here's, I have to, what do I, what do I have to keep going back to this cat, this bobcat for? This, this is a lost cause. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's colorful. It's colorful. We're lightening the cat's eyes. And uh, cleaning them up a bit, adding a little bit of variation. <laughs> He's not even happy. We need more of a happy cartoon. If he's going to be a cartoon cat, he might as well be happy. I'm trying to remember what I was going for here. And that's the way it is. You know, I add these mountains to one skateboard, and then I realize that I kind of like them, and I want to add them onto other ones. And those mountains are, those are good mountains, I got to say. They look good. A little path, adding a little depth to this. M menagerie is that the right word doubt it all right when we're continuing just keep on grinding keep on grinding obviously trying to make uh some kind of point of focus here may have the, have that cat look like he's popping out or something all right so looks like i'm transitioning here yet no, still on Bob, still on this particular cartoon. Oh, uh, this one. I don't even remember this Bobcat. This one was a short-lived Bobcat. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work, Skate Park Mark. Stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to put a scary face on him. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. You are? Really? Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, you're doing it. All right. Well. Oh, we got a little more fierce bobcat <laughs> stuck under a fence. Maybe a little bit more realistic. It's a little more fierce. And that's kind of the way that the thing went. Like when I was the mascot, I was very happy-go-lucky. And then when we replaced him, we got a, a more fierce-looking bobcat. And that actually ended up being the trick because that bobcat team is pretty good these days. A lot better than they used to be. It's a bigger program, too. 
The stadium's gone through a lot of improvements. And, uh, I mean, like I said, I graduated in two, I was the Bobcat in 2000. So, oh, here's a cla- the classic Bobcat. And this was their old logo. I'm looking at classic vintage logos here for the Montana State Bobcats. Looks like it was Montana State College, maybe, historically speaking. Still the Bobcats. That's a cool looking one. I like that. I like that. Rawr. This cat. So now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Skater background objects. A lot of grids. A lot of squiggly lines. And uh, that looks like some kind of quilt. So I don't know how that's going to work. We're, we've got the cat on cat and the quilt. Here. Colorful. Oh, here we go. Okay. So this one I'm working on now, this is this was what it ended up being finally after all of this, you know, we finally got something that we can like. You know, we've we've moved away from the bear, moved away from our cat in the hen house, and we've gone straight with vintage Bobcat logos with some skater backgrounds and uh, this is kind of like a white on white again that I'm trying to do. Make it subtle. Ultimately, whatever you put on a board is going to look good. Skateboards just make everything pop. Like it was meant to be there. That's kind of cool. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. All right, we're trucking along. We've got vintage Bobcat logos. We have creative backgrounds. Uh, We have... We have some maybe claw marks. I think I was probably trying to do something. This is that repetition with variation where, you know, we use part of another object and then we just change it a little make it bigger and here we go we've got bobcat options moved away from the bear and we've got a lot of a lot of a lot of good boards here a lot of good options and the question is, which one did we finish with? And that'll wrap up the design session. And here it is. This is the tie bud. And we donated that actually in Phillipsburg, this Bobcat. And I, and it was kind of fitting because I've been traveling around a little bit in the backcountry with my dad doing some exploring. And we've been up in that Gold Creek. Uh, what is it? Douglas Creek, um, Phillipsburg area, and my dad has some. Who is my dad is also a Bobcat, and he has some um, fraternity brothers in that Flint Creek area. They're ranchers, so I knew for sure the Bobcats. There's Bobcats in that valley, and so that's where its home is now in Phillipsburg. All right, Ty Bud, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You the man. And uh, yeah, that was the creation of the Ty Bud's uh, Bobcat Skateboard. Once again, this is Skate Park Mark. And we're donating skateboards to low-income kids in West Montana. Thanks for tuning in. 
Hope all everybody has a great day. Love y'all. Bye.